Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2. The Gundam Battle Operation 2 beta test on Steam happens this week between Monday, January the 16th at 2100 hours Pacific and January 19th, uh, which is Thursday, at midnight Pacific. So in Eastern Times, that is uh, midnight uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning and 3 a.m. Uh, uh, Thursday morning. So... And preload is available at uh, 2100 Pacific Midnight Eastern on Sunday. And this is a request from Angel, who wanted the uh, Giradoga in Resin Schneider's colors. So I specifically went with the Commander's Machine Gun because of that and put the Command Antenna on it. And I think I got the colors pretty well. Uh, though sometimes the, bl the dark blue on uh, Sh Resin Schneider's... Uh, Doga was more shown as being more of a uh, almost black. It was so dark. So there were two uh, the there were two different versions of the MS in action. One with each of the uh, with this color scheme and one with the darker blue. Uh, basically, all of the Shars counterattack suits were available in two subtly uh, subtly different color schemes, I believe. So yeah, um, the Dogas definitely were. Like, all four of the Dogas were. I don't know about the new Gundam and the Sazabi. If there are differences between those, I've never seen them side by side, so. But this is a, I think it's a, I think it's a uh, 600 ace match, actually, This which would make this a level 2 or 3 uh, Giradoga. So, probably 3, if I'm, if I came in at cost. But, uh, yeah, Giradoga has, um... Well, it has a couple options as to uh, machine guns. One that does have a charged shot, which is the commander type, and one that doesn't. It has... Uh, the basic one does have a grenade launcher to make up for that, though. But it has a beam sword a beam, and a beam tomahawk, both in the same unit. Okay, it's 550, so it's probably the level 2. Um, but yeah, the, the beam machine gun on... Uh, the, this beam machine gun functions more or less like the Gear Zulus in that if you land the whole burst, it should stun. But in addition to uh, all of that, the Gear Doga has a uh, enameled wire, which is probably the fastest and easiest to use heat rod weapon in the game, and also a uh, big pile of Sturmfausts on its shield, which in you know Gundam Battle Operation fashion is not technically a shield because it's you know. A, uh, it's a, a, it's, what is it, right arm equipment. Things that have, like, a large amount of weaponry on them that you could not conceivably, you know, do a damaged, uh, like, uh, look for without misplacing some of the weapons. They tend to just, uh, uh, go ahead and, uh, just make those into arm equipment. So, Yeah. What, and those get buffer skills, which instead of blocking dam or soaking damage like uh, shields do, instead reduce the damage that comes in. So it's it's a str it's a strange system, but it does work. Sometimes, just out of uh, probably out of foolish nostalgia, I do miss the idea of uh, that destroying shields deprived we uh, things like the Goof Custom of its uh, weapon. Back in GBO one, that was uh, you know it was an interesting tr strategic element, but there's also things where some of the most effective weapons are on the shields, and it would be really really frustrating. So I get why they didn't do it. Okay, that uh, all that thing's going down, and I hit it, and they got uh, the uh, Gundam with the hammer, and now I'm going to try and get something else if I can without hopefully stepping on the uh, landmine on that Jagan, and I am not paying attention to my uh, right uh, side at all, which is foolish. Now I am, though. I put on stealth so that they couldn't see me come around. That didn't account for anything, because I got stunned, uh, and now it's time to uh, try this again. But, yeah. Not a better start than some. Still, I still made some foolish moves there when I was low on hit points. That's, uh, that's kind of when I tend to be stupid is when I'm low on hit points. Like, if I if I figure, you know, if I'm one hit from death, there's only so much I can do anyway, so I may as well just take the risks then. Because, realistically, if you're going to die either way, it's uh, that's the lowest risk, to, is to do it when you're about to die. At least that's the way I think of it. 
I often uh, kind of revise that thought at uh, near the end of a round where the scores are very, very close. So, but speaking of, yeah, I don't know where the rest of the team is, but at this point I am a little bit annoyed because, yeah, there's four people on me. There's two other people alive, and I don't know what that person is doing. Are they team attacking? Or can I not see one of my teammates here, I wonder? But uh, regardless, yeah, I don't... Yeah, like, teammates have shown up now, so I'm a, I'm a little bit better about it. But just, yeah, I, it's really frustrating when there's four people on you and there's other people alive, because that means that, you know, okay, on a five on a five-person team... If there's a four-on-one somewhere else, or if there's a four-on-one and you're the one, that means that your other four allies are taking out another one. Which, you know, if you each tra uh, trade a kill, it can, it can kind of come out even. But if it, there's, say, a three-on-two, or, say, two threes-on-three-on-twos, uh, then things get a little bit weird. Um... I had a, I, man, the other day I had a more, like, concise way of saying what I'm trying to express, and I just have completely lost it, so I'm just, I'm gonna let that go for now, but, just like, yeah, like, if, if 80 per, if 80 percent of your team is fighting 20 percent of theirs, that means 40 percent of their team is, uh, somewhere else, you know, uh, doing, or, never mind, yeah. My 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 math is not here tonight, so yeah, I, I had yeah, I'm I'm getting the uh, figures scrambled, but regardless, I have I have thoughts on you know one side outnumbering the other and what that means for the rest of your team, and you know basically if there's more than two people on one target, might be best to uh, you know see if you can go help somebody else, because otherwise it could just lead to uh, you know one team getting a numeric advantage and just rolling with it. But at the moment, I don't know if I was doing the right thing or not, honestly, uh, in uh, in taking da uh, down their ace. We have a pretty solid lead at this point, so I'm going to say yes. But best thing I can do for our ace at the moment, that, uh, that being a super Gundam, is to help them repair. So, man, I... now I'm trying to remember the point I had, and I, I can't. That's, yeah, that's right. That, that sounds about right. But, uh... Yeah, just, again, be uh, be very careful in, you know, outnumbering somebody and focusing them down. It's like, just be ready to move uh, from that quickly to help somebody else, because, uh, yeah, somebody is keeping the rest of their team occupied, and that, that may not work out well. Now, with 40-some seconds left, I have gotten the, uh, or the Ace and I have gotten the uh, Ace's Super Gundam up to about three-quarters health, so... And here comes the enemy ace again, who I'm going to try and throw some Sturmfaust at and succeed. Looks like our ace is doing pretty good at throwing out damage as well. So, yeah, I think I think we're going to win this one. Uh, hopefully they won't kill our ace. I'm certainly going to try and, yeah, stop them all as they come through. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to uh, hold this whole hallway here by myself. Not by myself, there's other people, but I'm kind of, like, taking the front on that. And, well, it cost me. But I, uh, you know, in the end, I think it went okay. But yeah, I think it was a pretty fun round. So our ace is happy with it, and so am I. Hope you enjoyed it, Angel. And let's take a look at the scores. I, let's see, yeah, ace ran away with it. I was top diversions, which kind of feels right for the kind of, uh, uh, kind of for the way I was running. Eh, three and four, but 95,000 damage. I think that's decent, so... That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, and until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Man, I started coughing at the end of that last take, and it was so close to the end, I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to throw it away, so I really hope I can make that splice relatively well. <laughs>